too windy outside and uh, still recovering from my shoulder uh, injury so I can't carry a lot of uh, heavy equipment up. So let's do the video inside. Now over the weekend there was a large contingent of protesting going on around the world. Here in the U.S. New York had tens of thousands of people that uh, showed up for the protest about uh, burning fossil fuels here in the U.S. And, and how Biden, president of the U.S., needs to get on the climate bandwagon and get rid of fossil fuels and start to uh, embrace uh, alternatives of some sort or another. He needs to do that, and it needs to be now. And uh, AOC was there. Several people were there here in New York giving uh, speeches and all. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're going to talk about something that, that's, that's happening here on the planet Earth that's very, very bad. Antarctic sea ice is well below any previous winter levels. Satellite data shows a worrying new benchmark for a region that once seemed resistant to global warming. It's so far outside anything we've seen before, says Walter Malter Murr, who monitors sea ice with the National Snow and Ice Data Center. An unstable Antarctic could have far-reaching consequences, polar experts warn. Antarctic's huge ice expanse regulates the planet's temperature. The ice that floats on the Antarctic Ocean surface now measures less than 17 million square kilometers. That is 1.5 million square kilometers of sea ice less than the September average and well below previous winter record lows. Look at the chart and you can see what we're talking about. In a year when several global heat and ocean temperature records have been broken, some scientists insist the low sea ice is the measure to pay attention to in the future. The sea ice acts as a protective sleeve for the ice covering the land and prevent the ocean from heating up. Awakening this giant of Antarctica would be an absolute disaster for the world. Look at the missing sea ice in this picture, taken from the skies above with satellite, the before and after. It's getting worse, people. The global climate disaster is getting worse by the day. And for the deniers, there's nothing we can do about them. We just have to ignore them. They refuse to even pay attention to science whatsoever. So they're going to deny anything to do with science. These are the flat earthers, the ones that believe that the planet is is flat and that the moon is a light that the divine our god fellow shows up in the sky and kind of floats around with it and that there really isn't such thing as space and that all of the space exploration that we're seeing is fake and uh, pretty much everything with the right wing deniers is always called fake even down in florida they're calling covid once again fake and i just i just can't believe it so ron DeSantis, the right wing governor of Florida is saying to ignore anything to do with COVID. Don't wear a mask. Don't get the uh, booster shots and uh, just go about your business as usual. But that's okay because the more right-wingers we lose, the better off this planet is. Believe me, it is. last thing we need is more right-wingers telling us to ignore COVID or the climate disaster that's happening right in front of our eyes. With that, I appreciate any comments on this, the new subscribers, and the thumbs up. And until next time.